हेलो फ्रेंड टुडे यू आर गोइंग टू बी जीरो टू हीरो इन ए डब्ल्यू एस लैमडा वट इज ए डब्ल्यू एस लैमडा वट आर देयर बेनिफिट्स वाई वी कॉल देम सर्वरलेस आई विल ब्रेक एवरी थिंग डाउन विद रियल एग्जाम्पल्स डायग्राम्स डेफिनेशन शो यू एग्जैक्टली वेयर वाई एंड हाउ टू यूज ए डब्ल्यू एस लैमडा इन रियल एप्लीकेशन एंड यस This is the one of the favorite questions in AWS interviews especially for developers. By the end of this video you can easily explain this concept to anyone in your interview or anywhere. So let's get started. What is AWS Lambda function? Have you ever used them in your project? Very very important question from interview point of view. Stay with me till the end, and then you can explain this to anyone with example. Let's understand with the help of an example. Suppose you are uh, a developer, and your development team has created a web application in AWS. You have the front end server built in Angular, React, or JS. This front end passes the request to the back end or API server, which can be in .NET, Java, or Node. and finally everything connects to the database okay so this front end and back end can be in uh, hosted in ec2 instances or hosted in using the elastic bean stock so that doesn't matter okay can be in anything now imagine a user is signing up in your application like this and during the sign up the user is uploading a photo or some any kind of image document that image document will be stored in the amazon s3 storage like this in aws cloud okay it s3 is used to store mainly the images okay and i will explain in detail in upcoming question about that this s3 but uh, now you know it is in short used to store the files and images of your application okay now listen carefully images are very large in size and uh, or maybe videos very large in size and large image require more space in s3 which means more aws cost for your company because you are storing bigger files in s3 okay now as an aws developer you uh, come up with a brilliant idea or a solution to save cost of your company you used a service in aws called aws lambda you created a lambda uh, and inside that lambda you will write some code to compress the images okay now what happens whenever the image is uploaded in this amazon s3 storage bucket or account or storage then a trigger will be fired and automatically your lambda function and the code inside it will be executed and will compress the image and then it will store the image getting my point before storing the image the image will be compressed in size by your code which is written inside the lambda function that means now you need less storage is required in the s3 storage and your company cost will be saved and that's a great job and you will get the employee of the month award for saving company cost so this is a very common use case and if you will say this in the interview then interviewer will think that you have read it somewhere okay so here is one more example suppose you want that as soon as a user signs in like this uh, a successful welcome email should be sent to the user automatically back to him no manual thing automatically for this also you can write a lambda function which will be automatically triggered as soon as a user will sign up and it uh, the lambda function will send the welcome email to the user that's it remember lambda function is just a piece of code which is running behind background okay now i am sure you are fully understood the purpose of aws lambda right and 
here is the simple easy to remember definition aws lambda is a serverless compute service that lets you run code in response to events when something will happen then your lambda function will be triggered okay some event must happen to trigger the lambda function without managing servers basically managing without managing servers what is the meaning of this that i will explain you in the upcoming question in detail okay so remember in short lambda function will only execute when something will happen and it is a piece of code all right if this is fully clear to you then write crystal clear in the comments or chat that will boost your confidence and help you to never forget this concept ever in your life also this diagram and this definition in the book will help you in quick revision for your interviews from the book later okay now in interview sometimes they ask one indirect question okay this is the this is the first question now they will ask why not just write the lambda function code directly inside the main application itself lambda function is just a piece of code why not to write inside the main application the same code and that's a great question and i will answer that in the upcoming question before moving forward ask yourself just one thing what is the point of learning aws if you can't crack the aws interviews that's why i have created a complete aws interview preparation boot camp for you with three powerful tools number three 200 plus aws interview questions from all the topics step by step even if you are aws beginner still you can learn everything here also the real scenario based questions are covered then in this smart excel you can mark questions prepared or not prepared and therefore you can track your interview preparation progress like this second tool is this pdf book for quick revision just before your aws interviews and first tool is 10 aws mock interviews to help you practice just like the real interviews many students have already cracked interviews with my courses you can be the next remember just one missed question can lead to interview rejection why take the chance then check out all the links in the description if interested great if not no worries let's move to the next question why not include the aws lambda function code directly inside the main application so this is a common interview question especially for developers so here is the lambda use case which i explained earlier now practically yes you can write the uh, same lambda code inside your main application code but 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 in uh, real world projects this creates some performance and design issues for example if you include a lambda code of the sending welcome email inside your main app code then for every user request your main application will take more time to respond because now it has more code slightly maybe it is a small code but there is some more code to execute and that will uh, you know make your main application more heavy because your application have to do more task the request will take more time to process okay so if you put some code separate some logic separate inside the lambda function then the lambda function runs independently remember independently that means your main application stays lightweight focused doing its core job and the lambda functions runs in the background independently to do the extra tasks in short keep only the necessary core code in the main application and the task which can be delayed or done independently or do it through the lambda functions okay here is the simple answer reason is because aws fun lambda runs independently it improves the performance of the main application by keeping main application lighter faster and easier to maintain 
now you may ask why is lambda independent that is because lambda is serverless service what serverless means that i will explain in the upcoming question what exactly is serverless in aws is it truly serverless now you are going to master this serverless so i already explained this use case of uh, aws lambda in the previous question and the biggest advantage of lambda is it is serverless now listen carefully serverless doesn't mean that there are no servers lambda functions runs on some aws server only but it is called serverless means because you do not have to manage that server that server on which lambda function is running okay you will pay for only for how many times your lambda function is executed not for the server uptime getting my point so you do not have to worry about anything about that server like setting it up maintaining or anything and also remember that your main application might be running on ec2 or beanstalk uh, but lambda functions run separately and independently on some separate server which you do not have to manage okay so now you may ask what is the advantage of being serverless so in aws this lambda case lambda function allows you to separate or decouple some piece of logic from your main application which you already know and that is the benefit of the serverless it's a big benefit okay so let me give you an example see nowadays everything is moving towards decoupling and loose coupling for example earlier we have that big monolithic applications where front end back end logic html java javascript everything was inside one big application right and we call them monolithic applications now we are moving towards micro services a small small piece of independent services independent which are loosely coupled which are not dependent on each other so that is the benefit of serverless being independent so because as compared to a big tightly coupled application a monolithic application where you will do one change and you have to test all the application big application that's a great risk so these small small services are important and aws lambda will help you for doing the same for decoupling the logic from your main app okay whatever logic can be run independently like uh, image compression email notification data cleanup you can put that code inside lambda so that is the main reason behind the existence of the aws lambda and the uh, same is the importance of uh, serverless and independent services and same for microservices all clear now here is the simple short answer serverless in azure means running code without managing the server and the second part is it truly serverless no it's not servers it still exist but you don't manage them okay so that is the answer now you will ask aws lambda is triggered by events right so what are those triggers what kind what type of are of those triggers and that i will explain you in the upcoming question great job my friend most will just talk but the way you finishing the things shows your dedication and towards your goal now if you understand this lambda then there are some more related concepts like sns sqs dlq that i have explained in my complete aws interview bootcamp many of my students have already used my courses to crack their interviews now if you don't want to miss a single question for your next interview then check out the bootcamp and book link in the description below